Photogrammetry is a methodology where a sequence of pictures are used to produce a three-dimensional model. We use three-dimensional models in the field because it allows us the opportunity to revisit certain aspects of the site that have been since removed through excavation. Uh, this is really important because it gives us this chance to maybe modify what we're doing or reconsider certain aspects of the excavation that are long since gone. When doing photogrammetry in the field, it is incredibly important that you keep a very clean surface. So before you go about doing your photo model, you want to ensure that you don't have anything that obstructs your photographs and you want to make sure that there's nothing that's on top of the surface itself. When you then approach to do the photographs, you need to ensure that as you're taking your pictures that you're ensuring that you get a 60% overlap with each picture. This allows the software to easily recognize all the elements that you're trying to photograph and produce into the 3D model and give you a really good result. We have been using geo-reference points for our models and this is important because it allows us to take the 3D model and put it into a virtual representation of the world. Uh, this is beneficial because it allows us to perform measurements on anything uh, in that 3D model. So we can take a look at any of these stones and measure them. The 3D models are invaluable in the field simply because it allows us to use them in a way that you can't use photos. You could use photos to go back and revisit other parts of the site, that's true. But with photos, because they're two-dimensional, you don't have the, the opportunity to look at the archaeology as it was at the time when you captured it. So when the field leaders are in the field and they've already excavated down below this layer, they can go back with the 3D model and see what it did look like several days or even weeks or months ago. And you can actually look at it in a three dimension, which you cannot do with a photo. And the same can be done with artifacts. Photogrammetry is also really useful for especially small artifacts like this little fiskusorka. Something that's really small, we can actually blow up to be very large. So for example, there's that same, same fishing weight right there. And because it's in three dimensions, it gives us this unique opportunity, instead of sitting there with a microscope, that we can actually look at it and understand what the three dimensional aspect of it looks like. You can actually see where all the grooves are in this little artifact. 